Alrighty, what's going on everybody? i uh been a little lacking on the updates, but I haven't really done a whole lot. But anyways, today we are uh, we're going to go to the junkyard and try and get a steering column. The only problem is there's really only one brick nose truck in the two junkyards I have locally to me. So we're kind of we're kind of going to be running on luck there if that actually uh, is going to happen or not. So let's see what happens, um, but I will be taking you guys along for the ride. 20 minutes later. Alrighty, we made it out here. My throat's really sore, but um, we got a brick nose, we got the steering column, we got a steering wheel, and uh, it's pretty much all intact. So the only thing I'm missing is this steering, or this turn signal's a little bent, but that's whatever. Um, but we got a steering wheel and we got a steering column, so I'm gonna dive into it. I'm gonna get this, uh, get this ready to get off. The problem is I forgot my wallet, which is a big bummer because I was supposed to pay to get in, and he said I can go in and look. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to pull this, and then I'm going to set up my Apple Pay, and then I'm going to pay for it, is what I'm going to do. So, yeah, let's dive into it, and let's start uh, tearing this apart. Here's a little life hack for you. If you need to get underneath a vehicle in the junkyard, you go to your local trunk, grab some trunk carpet, and you toss it underneath. And you use this to lay on nice and dry no more in the rocks and all the other shit that's underneath there good little hack got the i'm gonna try and take it off without the steering wheel because that bolt's bigger than any of the sockets i brought and i got the linkage disconnected here kind of hack job like um there's a there's a bolt down here to disconnect it from the linkage but i can't get any of my tools with this brake booster in the way so I just cut the rod with my M12 cutoff wheel and it worked great so hopefully I can still get it out but if not we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there but yeah we're uh we're getting there just gotta get that I gotta get the shifter linkage and then I gotta disconnect it from there unplug our connector here unbolt it and it should just come out so sick we're getting there all right, I got the steering column down. I'm ready to yank it out. Hopefully it goes pretty easily. I got the gauge cluster out. I think I'm gonna take this gauge cluster because I think my uh, my shifter selector is broken on mine. So I'm gonna take that with me, but I'm ready to yank this out, which is awesome. I didn't disconnect my connectors. I just cut them because I think they might be broken on my truck. So yeah, this is so awesome. I found a YouTube video because it's cable driven speedometer, right? So I found a YouTube video on how to remove it but the YouTube video didn't tell me anything and some savage linked his YouTube video in the comments and I found the proper way to disconnect it. But shout out to that guy. So I'm gonna yank this out, set up my Apple Pay, get this paid and we'll go back to the shop. Alrighty, we are officially out of the junkyard. Um, spent a lot more time in there than I thought it was gonna be. I was in there for a few hours, but we got the steering column and it's all intact. The only problem is we didn't get a key for the steering column. So. There's a few ways to go about it, but I think I'm just gonna take the column to the locksmith and see if the locksmith can make me a key for it. If not, I'm gonna have to drill out the uh, ignition and put a new one in, but drilling it out can be a little sketchy, so it's gonna be a pain to deal with. But, is what it is, we gotta get keys for the thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get some food, and then I'm going to, I'm probably gonna have to go back home and get my wallet before I swing by the locksmith, and then after that, I'm gonna do a little bit of errands, and then we will, uh, I will update you guys once we uh, figure out what the next plan of attack is. If the locksmith's taking care of the column, or if I'm taking care of the column, either way, I will keep you all updated. Alrighty, we just got back to the casa. I have a package. These are the parts I bought from the guy off of the Facebook group. We're gonna crack it open and you know check everything, make sure everything's there. This guy told me he was gonna bubble wrap everything, and I don't see any bubble wrap in here, so that's a little upsetting. I got driver's seat brackets. These are a bit rusty. I forget, you know, there's places in the United States that cause rust. I live in Utah, it's a dry ass state. I have a, oh man, I'm a little upset and he didn't give me any of the hardware for it. Mother, argh. and this, that's a defective switch. Cool, I'm gonna be in contact with him. This is why you go PayPal goods and services, cause that's fucked up. 
This is not bubble wrap. Oh, nice. I thought these were going to be a lighter tan, but these are darker. These are more like Eddie Bauer speaker guards, which is sick. And then we got, what else we got in here? Screws for something. Don't know what that's for. This was not packaged nicely. I'm a little upset about it. And this is the ashtray. Uh, let me grab a knife real quick. All right, there's the ashtray. The ashtray looks to be in good shape. Let's pop it open. Oh, yeah, nice clean ashtray. Nice. I don't have any hardware, which is a little upsetting. The center console lid is probably the most upsetting because um, the latch is broken. So I need to hit them up about that. And I need the hinges. So, But at least I got the ashtray, speaker grills, and most importantly, the driver's seat brackets. Right now, I need to pay some bills. Got to pay my mortgage. Can't forget to do that. And then um, we're going to head to the locksmith. Already just dropped off the steering column and the door lock to the locksmith they said they could take care of it no problem um the price quote was about i think it was it was 50 to 70 for the ignition and then like 20 to 30 for the door lock so i'm gonna be i'm either gonna be 70 bucks or i'm gonna be 100 bucks but i mean you can't really beat that this key place is like super sick kind of really small really small like family-owned business is what it looks like just this old couple kind of running it. So super cool to see that. I love supporting small business. That's probably going to be it for this weekend. I got to go help my buddy. We're going to be installing some air ride on a S4. So I got to go do that. And probably not going to be able to touch the Bronco until I get the keys back and I can get that steering column swapped in. Three weeks later. Alrighty. What's up, everyone? So I'm working from home right now because that's what I do. And long story short... I've been instructed to quarantine for 10 days, so I cannot leave my house, I can't go get anything. What does that have to do with the Bronco project? Well, if you remember last, I uh, dropped off my steering column and my passenger door lock to the locksmith. Well, it's ready to get picked up, but I got, I'm quarantined, I can't leave. So, I have my buddy who works kinda in the area, just go pick it up for me. He's about to go get there, he's about to go pick it up, and then he's gonna drop it off here. We're gonna fast forward to the weekend and you're gonna see me putting it in the next morning alrighty man yesterday kicked my ass still feeling pretty down today still feeling pretty sick but yeah I'm feeling a lot better today definitely still need to take a mellow because the more I move around the more I'm going Ugh. anyways um, my goal for today I don't know how far I'm gonna get but I would like to swap the seat brackets on the seat I'm gonna clean up a bunch of parts that I have inside here I'm going to try and tear apart the steering column and the parts that I cut and try and, you know, get it ready. But in other news, I did just put a deposit down on some axles. Um, got them for a screaming deal. I got Super Duty axles out of an 04 F250. I'm paying like 400 bucks with leaf springs for front and rear axles, which is a crazy huge deal. Like, that is a, a screaming deal. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go pick those up next weekend. What else? Oh, the keys, the keys. Check this out. We got us, we got us keys. Got the steering column back. They uh, actually kind of cleaned it up and polished it. But yeah, I took this out, you took the key. Obviously the steering column flops because, you know, it's not bolted to anything. But yeah, dude, we got a functioning key for that. And then we also have a functioning key for our Passenger door lock if I can get this to do this one-handed You know what we're just gonna go out to the truck Ready check this out Boom turned key turn the other way boom Let's go to the driver's door No, oh, she's need some grease boom turn key boom turned key Heck yeah, dude. So, yeah, I would love to clean up the extra mouse poop here. All the bunch of dirt and grime, and there is more underneath here, which is why I took the seatbelts out. So, oh, and we got a bunch of dirt and grime on the dash, but I can't really do much about that. Yep, I knew that was broken. Our shifter selector piece is broken, so I'm glad I took the cluster off the out of the other, out of the junkyard. But yeah, that's the goal for today. Um, let's see how far we get.
Nice, got it. All right, we just got the little bit of the selectors that I cut off of the junkyard out. Um, the rubber bushing did come with it, but I wasn't able to get it, so I do kind of know the secret now. How am I going to get it back in? I have no idea. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I'll probably peel the rubber bushing off. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, like I said, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I also got the steering linkage off. It was just this bolt. This should be pretty easy on the new on my current truck because I can rotate the wheel and kind of set this where it needs to be because I had to take it off of the impact because if you can see the amount of Loctite that they put on this thing I definitely need the impact to take it off so yeah this is good to go now this is ready to go back in um, I do need to check my connectors on the truck and see what I need to splice in and stuff but this can kind of be done after I put the column in so not super worried about it but let's move on to the driver's seat now I already got the spring on. Now when I pull the lever, it disengages both slider rails, but I just discovered something that's a big bummer. The seat is broken. So as you can see right here, this rail is completely disconnected um, and it's no longer a safe functioning seat. So that's a big bummer. Um, these seats were pretty hammered, but I mean, nonetheless, ugh, they're still Eddie Bauer seats. And that's the biggest bummer um, because Eddie Bauer seats are rare and they're really nice. Um, so my plan was to kind of restore these seats, but now that they're, yeah, yeah, they're trash. The seats trashed. So there's kind of no hope anymore. So this is just going to be a temporary seat just to move it around the yard. And that's probably all it's going to be. I either might get buckets or I'm gonna find some seats at the junkyard. Yeah, yeah, so let's go back outside. Let's vacuum out the interior and let's also try and uh, tackle the steering column. I think what I'm gonna do right now is just do the shifter linkage and the steering linkage, try and get those two disconnected. And then if those two are dis can get disconnected easily, it'll be pretty simple to put the rest of the steering column in. So hopefully we can swap that out today. That'd be so awesome. Um, and yeah, so let's do it. Okay, so I'm out by the Bronco, and I'm actually making really good progress to get the steering column off. Let me show you real quick. So I was able to get the bolt for the steering column out. It's sitting right here in all of its loctite glory. Um, I had to use a ratchet with an extension, and I used a little breaker bar, and then once I broke it, I was just able to kind of quarter turn, eighth turn at a time. Um, I was also able to get the... Uh, shifter linkage off as you can see there and there um i thought i was going to struggle with it but then i brought my big old pry bar out this guy right here and it popped right off no problem so i wish i brought this to the junkyard with me so now all i have left is to take the 10 mil bolts off of here the 15 off of here and then it should drop and then i gotta unplug the electrical and we can swap out steering columns so 
And I'm also going to swap out the gauge cluster once this is out. But yeah, let me uh, get those bolts out, get this out, and update you after that. Got the old junkie column out. Ready to get the new one in once I get the uh, cluster out. Um, I noticed when I pulled this guy out, I didn't need to remove this bolt because uh, it's just a sleeve. So if we come over here, my automatic shutting door. If we come over here, you'll see wherever it went down here, you'll see the shaft just slides in. So that's a big bummer. And I don't know how I'm gonna get that back in by myself, but we're gonna figure it out because I'm going to take this U-joint off and put it on the new column before we go back out here. But yeah, I'm about to have a steering wheel and a set of keys in this truck. So that's a uh, super awesome. So let's keep moving. Alrighty, got the U-joint um, hooked in for the drive shaft or the steering shaft. Got the bolt back in, it was pretty simple. And I also got the bushing in for the shifter linkage. That was a pain. My advice for you, if you need to swap that, is don't give up. <laughs> That's about all I can give you. Yeah, all I got left to do is just to take off these connectors and then we can get this thing in. All right, as you can see, I got the column in and I also got it hooked up to the steering shaft. Not quite all the way, but good enough. So real quick, I'm going to swap out the uh, gauge cluster and uh, we'll be good to go. Alrighty, we got her in. I decided not to change out the gauge cluster right now because I found a lot of mouse poop under there. And I said, screw that, I'm going to rip this whole dash out eventually. But it's almost winter time. I need to figure out how to store this damn thing out of my yard because where it's sitting right now, the city's not going to be happy with it. But I have a steering wheel now so I can actually steer the damn thing coming out here. Like I said, I got the shaft in. Like I said, I got the shaft in right here and I got the shifter linkage connected. That was super simple, just needed some pliers, give her a good squeeze. And yeah, so now not only do I have a, a steering column with a steering wheel, I also have keys for the thing. So that's an awesome way to, uh, I think, end the video. Um, actually, no, not yet. Let's. Uh, Let's put the lock cylinder in the uh, passenger door here, shall we? All right, I got it back in. I'm missing a lock pin um, or a lock clip for the backside, so it does kind of, you know, just kind of fall out, and someone could probably easily pick it, but oh well, it's there, and I can go boom, twist, lock, 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 lock. Actually, let's test. Let's see if we can actually unlock it like this. Nah, no, nah, not really. Okay, there we go. Boom, twist the other way. Unlock, and see, that's what happens when you pull the key out. Yeah, definitely need a locking clip, but hey, we're good. Nice. All right. One more thing I wanna do is I wanna check, test my new ignition setup. And since I now have a key and I now have a way to turn things off, I'm going to finally fix this ghetto like jumper wire thing that we had set up here so i got me a new battery terminal i also got a new cable that i kind of had kicking around from one of my winch setups that i think is going to work perfectly right here so let's test poles make sure my poles fit nice that's a big ass pole you know what i'll make that fit all right, got the new cable on, got the new battery terminal on. I didn't hear any clicks like I normally did when I would just jumper it. So let's see if, uh, let's at least see if she'll crank. Let's see what it does here. Let's see with a, a nice, I was gonna say, let's see with a proper battery terminal or connection and a proper ignition if we're gonna have weird relay clicks again. Nope, it's all nice and solid. Nice. Oh, just kidding, we still have relay clicks. Weird. Well, let's try and crank here. Damn, dude, she almost fired. Did you hear that? I wish I could pump it, but I can't. Yeah, we gotta figure out why those relays are clicking. Not quite sure. I also gotta figure out what those three lights are over there. 
But let's try it again one more time. Oh well. Hey, we have keys. We have keys. The thing starts with keys now. So that's a that's a huge, huge victory. Huge, huge victory. Great success. All right, one more thing I gotta show off before we uh, disconnect the battery for the night is the back gate, man. We gotta show this off. Got the key. Down she goes. All right, now we go back up. The motor needs a little help, but hey, she's going up. She's going up, she's going up, look at that. Heck yeah, dude. So much success right here in these two little keys. Shout out to D's Key Service, yo. Alrighty, so crazy good progress made this weekend. Um, I'm super glad I got keys for the thing. That's like primo. Let's, uh, yeah, it feels really, really good. Buying a, buying a car without keys, I've never done it before. And I, you know, I always thought it was sketchy, but you know, I had the title and the title matched the previous owner I bought it from. He went through the title process. So all I had to go through was the key process. And yeah, taking it to a locksmith was Super simple, great success, super awesome. Bummed about the seat, wish we could find a better solution. I think I'm just gonna go to the junkyard and try and find some bucket seats. But next weekend, we are going to be picking up those axles and possibly working on my one of my trailers that I gotta sell at the same time. So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be an interesting episode. Lots of different things, driving down, cutting, axles out hopefully i can film some of it probably yeah we'll see we'll see but i am picking up those axles next weekend and it's gonna be a busy weekend next weekend i'm gonna try and take you guys along for the ride so with that being said thanks for watching i really hope you guys are liking this series i'm putting a lot more time and effort into this truck than i thought i would be i thought i was gonna buy it and it was gonna sit on the sidelines so i'm kind of this is kind of motivating me to keep working on it instead of pushing it off to the side so show me some reactions show me that you guys are actually enjoying this um you know like, like the video share the video comment on the video hit that subscribe button show me that you actually want to see more and i'll keep producing more but with that being said you guys have a good night and we'll see you next, uh, next weekend Peace.